Heat Biologics is a company working on different ways to help fight the coronavirus, and they have teamed up with the University of Miami to develop a preventative COVID-19 test and has launched a program for a potential vaccine. Uh, joining us now is the CEO of Heat Biologics, Jeffrey Wolf. Hi, Jeff. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Great. Thank you. So first off, let's talk about this uh, new diagnostic test. Tell us a little bit about how it works. What does it entail? Who's going to be getting this test once it's ready? Great. This is a 30-minute uh, test that is able to quickly assess uh, whether a patient has the actual virus associated with COVID-19. Uh, you don't need any uh, special equipment uh, to do this test. Uh, it's uh, basically uh, a two-step process. And in, in 15, uh, 15 to 30 minutes, uh, you'll be able to know whether you, whether you have the whether you have the virus or not. Now, this is a direct virus test. We're not testing for the actual antibody. We're actually testing for the virus to determine um, to determine whether a patient has the disease or not, and whether that patient uh, can potentially be infecting others. When well, your company has been in talks with the Trump administration, I understand on this new testing. Can you disclose a little bit about what the plans are as far as uh, coordinating with the White House and distribution? Yeah, I mean, I, I can't say that the administration is doing a fantastic job in making it uh, better for companies like ours to move our products uh, uh, in, to the patients who need them. And so they've they've really streamlined the regulatory process, making public funding available to uh, enable us to do our job to get these products out there. So we really, uh, really applaud uh, what the administration is doing in this respect. And what sort of timeline, if you could put a date on that or any sort of projection, what sort of timeline are you looking at as far as getting your test out there? We're, we're looking to move the test out there as quickly as we possibly can. So we're working as aggressively as we, we can. Uh, administration has made it uh, very uh, common, that been, has been very accommodating uh, to us to do this. And um, we, uh, the, the speed in which we can do this is really dependent on the kind of resources that we can muster behind this effort. So we're working with the administration and different agencies to put the, put the right uh, resources behind this to move this as quickly as we possibly can get it out there. And, and I understand you're not just working on a test, you're also working on a vaccine program. You started on that. What are some of the details surrounding those efforts? Yeah, the, the vaccine program is also a really interesting program as well. So it's taking advantage of the work we've done in oncology uh, for the past 10 years. So we've dosed over 300 patients with uh, an oncology vaccine that actually is showing really good results in our, our, our clinical trials. We're applying those same tools to other viruses as well. So we've worked with, uh, with uh, the Zika virus. We've worked with our collaborators with uh, malaria. We've worked with uh, SIV, HIV, and most of this with government funding, with DOD money and with NIH uh, funded money. And uh, we've seen great results there as well. So now we're taking these same tools that we've been working with in the vaccine space to develop a vaccine against, uh, against uh, COVID-19. And is there any sort of timeline as to when you might start a clinical trials on this vaccine? You know, we're working as aggressively as we possibly can. So, uh, you know, I don't think anyone is gonna have a vaccine in the next nine to 12 months, uh, but we're looking to, we have our researchers working on it. Uh, we're working in collaboration with University of Miami, and the goal is to get this to the patients who need it as quickly as we, po uh, as we possibly can. All right, so Jeffrey Wolf, a CEO of Heat Biologics, speaking to us about his company's work on the front lines of COVID-19. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. We do appreciate your time and stay safe. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.